what they did in this paper and the the method they used to find private channels. So just imagine like you are in the Lightning Network and okay, you see the public graph that's known to anyone, but you want more than this. You also want to find where are the edges in this graph, which is as of now unvisible to you. How, wh- how can you find this out? So this was the first question asked in this paper. And uh, even though obviously they were not able to find all these private channels, but um, they were able to find uh, like 30% of them or so, uh, which is which is pretty amazing. So uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm a bit curious of how they actually discovered these uh, private payment channels, um, and I would assume it was based when uh, on on the closing transaction of a channel. Right, that uh, you, especially when it was an uncooperative close, seeing that hash time lock contract on chain makes it a, a rather high likelihood guess that this actually was a payment channel. Um, but did they also discover ways to find a payment channel, a private payment channel, before it was closed? Yes, yes. Uh, so this is one of the, you were on the right track, and this was one of the, the avenues they used, like closing tra- uh, transactions. And the first one is, let's imagine there's Alice on the Lightning Network, and Alice has many uh, opened payment channels. So as, as we previously mentioned, uh, how, how does a, open, a payment channel opening transaction look like? It's a pay-to-witness uh, script hash uh, contract uh, transaction where we have, it's a two out of two multisig, essentially. And, and we know that uh, as of, uh, 2020, so when, where the, whenever uh, this paper was written, that the capacity is less than uh, 0.16 Bitcoin. So um, the the bottom line here is that it's pretty easy to find channel opening transactions because you know the amount that is quite restricted and you know also the script type, which, okay, obviously you can have uh, false positives, like not every transaction that has this kind of characteristics, it's a lightning opening transaction, that's for sure. But so you will have some false positive, that's somewhat inevitable, but still you can find all the channel openings. And now let's assume that Alice opens many payment channels. So, and Another idioms of use, which was uh, um, exploited in this paper, that um, okay. we also know that by the time, as of by the time of writing, channel openings were one-sided. So only one one of the parties could fund the transaction, uh, could fund the channel. So uh, let's suppose that Alice opens uh, payment channels, and then such a transaction. So for example. You have one Bitcoin and you open a payment channel with a capacity 0.1. So you will have an output with 0.1. That's a two out of two multi And you will have a change of 0.9 Bitcoin, right? And the idiom of use was by the time, and I suppose this is pretty much the, much the case even today, that if you want to open another channel, then you would just reuse the, the change you got back uh, from this open, uh, channel opening transaction. So you take, Alice takes 0.9 Bitcoin and again opens another channel. So this is called the tracing heuristic in the paper. Um, and if, if we just want to summarize the idea is that we use a peeling chain um, type of heuristic here. So if, if Alice has many channel openings, one after the other, uh, most likely Alice will always just reuse this change whenever Alice creates new and new payment channels. And and you can imagine a situation like where Alice opens three payment channels, uh, which are public, then something happens that you don't see on the Lightning Network, uh, but it's still a two out of two multisig. And then again, you see some some other few uh, payment open uh, payment channel opening transactions and then you can you can derive that in the middle what you don't what you didn't see on the lightning network that corresponds to a private payment channel so this is the high level idea what they used in the paper uh, that basically exploited these idioms of use that um, 
people tend to just reuse the change uh, in in subsequent uh, payment channel opening transactions.